Hey everybody, I'm going to make another vegan meal right now and I'm going to dedicate this video to my BFF Michelle. Now she isn't fully vegan, she's, maybe she's semi-vegan, I mean I'm not fully vegan either, but see Michelle, she doesn't even eat red meat. And to that effect, I'm going to make some vegan sausage fettuccine alfredo. Now, I really remember this one because... I made some vegan fettuccine a la carbonara, which was the first video I made with my iPad instead of my phone. And speaking of my iPad, I'm still kind of paying that off. Anyway, let's get cooking. So once again, referring to the carbonara recipe, you should remember from that recipe how I prepare fettuccine. So we don't have to go through that long preparation process. Instead, we're gonna skip right over to the, what? You make fresh ravioli, why don't you make fresh fettuccine? Yeah, I know I make fresh ravioli, but the last time I made fettuccine, I used stuff like this. So, well, uh, what? But doesn't fresh pasta take a lot less time to cook than dried pasta? You know something? You're right. You're absolutely right. And speaking of ravioli, you can use the same kind of dough for fettuccine. And I just so happen to have some of that dough right here. So what? what? Yes, I do just so happen to have the dough. Quick printer troublemaker. Anyway, the preparation process was the same. And you do have to roll it out, of course. But since the fettuccine noodles are a little bit different than the ravioli, you have to roll it out slightly differently. And by that, I mean, as thin as humanly possible. And then, cut the dough into medium width strips. I probably wouldn't have had to do all that if I had a pasta attachment, but I haven't gotten around to buying one of those yet. Okay, I'm about to drop the noodles into this boiling salted water. But one thing you want to keep in mind is that, well, again referring to the ravioli recipe, you know you only want to put half of the pasta in there. I cut about mm, 20 noodles, so put 10 noodles in there. But you're going to want to stir occasionally because unlike the ravioli, pasta noodles are not going to, well, fettuccine noodles. They're so long, they are not going to float to the top when they're done. See? They didn't float to the top, but they are definitely done. Well, they kind of floated to the top, but not really close to the surface like the ravioli did. Well, anyway, you still need to babysit them. And you know how long it took to cook those? Three minutes, as opposed to the 20 minutes of the dry pasta. Well, it'll take three more minutes when I put the second half of the noodles in. But it's still less than 20 minutes. Okay, now our fettuccine is all done. But one other thing I want to mention is that since I cooked the fettuccine in two batches, for the first batch, instead of just taking the whole pot and pouring it right into the colander to drain it like I normally would, you actually want to take the pasta out of the pot with... No, not with your hand. With your handy dandy forceps. I, I haven't said handy dandy in a while, have I? Anyway, now with the second batch, you can just pour the pot into the colander to drain like you normally would. I mean, you could drain the first batch like that, but the problem is when you do that, you're just going to have to fill the whole pot up again with water and salt, and then wait for it to come to a boil, and that's just extra time. Now then, we add our sausage. And of course it wouldn't be Alfredo without Alfredo sauce. So now don't even get started with me using mozzarella instead of Parmesan. Y'all know how I feel about vegan Parmesan in sauce. It kind of looks like someone ate it already. Now that is what we're talking about. Mmm, kind of heavy. Guess I made more noodles than I realized. Mm, I'll save the rest of it for tomorrow or something. Now then. Mm. 
Now, as you may remember, there's really no elegant way to eat fettuccine, but this is definitely delicious, and I am guaranteed, well, I guarantee that Michelle will enjoy it. That is going to do it, and you know by now where to find the recipe. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again soon, and that's what I call using my noodle. Wait, that refers to using your brain, I know, but who refers to their brain as a noodle? I mean, brain matter isn't made of noodles. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think it's made out of... You know, in pictures of the brain, it's usually pink, and noodles aren't pink. I mean, sausage is pink. I mean, well, pork sausage is, but this is vegan sausage, and that started out as a brownish color, and I... I'll see you again soon. You know, also in drawings, it's kind of like curls. I guess curls are kind of like noodles.